Hello everyone, today we will discuss about the Down syndrome. In this video, we will discuss about mostly the genetics part and the clinical features associated with the Down syndrome. In general, Down syndrome is most common of all the chromosomal disorders and is major cause of mental retardation. Now going to the genetics. So the patient of Down syndrome uh, can have either complete extra 21st chromosome or partial extra 21st chromosome. It need not be always complete. We must understand that partial extra 21st chromosome can also lead to symptoms of the Down syndrome. The three major reasons for the Down syndrome are trisomy of chromosome number 21, that occurs in 95% of the cases, Robertsonian translocation which occurs in 4% and the mosaics. We will discuss each one, firstly going to the trisomy of 21st chromosome. So the trisomy of the 21st chromosome is very much related to the maternal age. So much so that uh, it occurs once in 1550 life births under the age of 20 in women whereas it occurs around 1 in 25 live births over the age of 45. We also should understand that it is due to a meiotic non-disjunction which takes place in the ovum. So majority of the cases are due to maternal meiotic non-disjunction of the ovum. The reason is the maternal part. Now to understand what is meiotic non-disjunction. What is non-disjunction? Non-disjunction means that the uh, sister chromatids fail to separate. So we can see over here that in this case, over here, the sister chromatids have failed to uh, separate. So this uh, cell gets extra pair of the chromosomes and when it divides, it will lead to n plus 1 number of chromosomes whereas this set will get n minus 1 number of chromosomes. This can uh, occur at any level. It can occur at meiosis 1 or can occur at meiosis 2 where uh, these two will have normal set of chromosomes whereas uh, similarly the part after the non-disjunction gets n plus 1 and n minus 1 uh, in set of chromosomes. Now this one n plus 1 means that the uh, it has 23 that is the n plus 1 that is extra chromosome leading to 24 pairs of chromosome and now when it will be fertilized with a sperm containing 23 pairs of chromosome it will lead to 47 that means there is extra one extra chromosome present now if that extra chromosome here is the chromosome number 21 it will lead to trisomy of 21 chromosome and will lead to Down syndrome. However, these patients will uh, undergo monosomy. Okay, this is the meiotic non-disjunction. Now, uh, non-disjunction also uh, occurs, we know that it occurs at the level of meiosis 1, it can occur at the meiosis 2, but we must remember it can also occur during mitosis. This we will discuss later on. Okay. Now going to the second part of the Down syndrome that is due to Robertsonian translocation. What is Robertsonian translocation? Firstly, uh, Robertsonian translocation we will understand with the help of this picture. So, uh, this is if this is the 21st chromosome and this is the 14th chromosome. Mostly the Robertsonian translocation for the Down syndrome occurs between 21 or 14 chromosome or sometime 22nd chromosome can also be involved. Okay, so here the breakage takes place and the two short arms get united whereas two long arms here get united. We can see there is uh, the long arm of 21 and 14 have united. Now this set of this pair has most of the information both from the 21st and the 14th chromosome whereas this chromosome doesn't have uh, information or has very less information and is mostly lost during the uh, uh, cycles. Okay, now we'll understand how this Robertsonian translocation, if present, will lead to Down syndrome. So, 
here we can see this cell this ovum has one 21st chromosome which is normal it has one 14th chromosome which is also normal one is the robertsonian one having two long arms and one has two short arms okay now if these two enter uh, into the next set this will lead to normal karyotype of the baby whereas if these two enter here, this will lead to also normal karyotype. This is known as balanced carrier form. How? Because this, this chromosome, this one, has information of both. It has information of 21st chromosome also and 14th chromosome also as a normal uh, and it will behave as a normal karyotype. Now, how will this lead to down syndrome down syndrome will take place if uh, we get uh, this variation if the 14th chromosome enters with the small uh, part which was going to be lost this will lead to monosomy of chromosome number 21 because there is no information present for the 21st chromosome from the maternal side if it will be fertilize it will get only one 21st chromosome where because this small part doesn't contain any information however this second part this has uh, ha one normal 21st chromosome and one robertsonian translocated uh, 21st chromosome which has total almost all the information of the 21st chromosome and will also get extra 21st chromosome uh, will get that 21st chromosome from the sp sperm so it will lead to trisomy of the 21st chromosome and this will lead to down syndrome this occurs in about 4% of the cases of the down syndrome now we will understand about the third part that was mosaics now the 1% of down syndrome patients are mosaics means they have mixture of cells some cells of these patients have 20, 46 chromosome and some have 47 chromosome and this mosaicism is due to mitotic non-disjunction of the chromosome number 21 now what is mitotic non-disjunction mitotic non-disjunction means that after the zygote have been formed this is a normal zygote having 46 chromosome when it is dividing in the early stages sometimes non-disjunction takes place like that in the meiosis and one cell gets 47 chromosome whereas other are 46 now when they will divide this will lead to mosaicism in the body with both type of cells present both with the 46 chromosome as well as the 47 chromosomes now uh, we will go to the clinical features we know that uh, it is a leading cause of severe mental retardation and there are diagnostic clinical features which are associated they are like flat facial profile oblique palpebral fissures simian crease epicanthal folds also these patients they have typical cardiac abnormalities like congenital heart diseases like endocardial cushion they have ostium primum they have atrial septal defects they have atrioventricular wall malformations ventricular septal defect they also have cases like atresia of the esophagus or small bowel also associated with them has is the leukemias they are 10 to 20 fold increased for the risk of leukemias and they are increased risk for the alzheimer's disease also Despite all these problems, nowadays the longevity is maintained and their median age of death is around 47 years. The screening tests which are not very diagnostic, they are like alpha fetoprotein is decreased, there is unconjugated estradiol, HCG is increased than the normal pregnancy, inhibin A is increased and on the radiological investigation we can see knuckle translucency. But the diagnostic one is the karyotyping. Okay. This was all about the Down syndrome. Thanks for watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.